Getting into your vehicle can be miserable on a hot summer day. Even like today, when it's only 80 some degrees out right now, it's already over 140 degrees on the dash of that car right there. Now, if you can avoid getting all that sunlight coming in your car when it's parked out in the sun, that'll help a bunch. We all know about things like these visors that can go in the windshield, but there are a lot of other options to cover the other windows as well. For example, the side glass, especially if you've got small children in the car, you've got options like this that can suction cup right to the side glass, and it keeps a lot of that sun from coming through inside the car. There's also options like this, and it's kind of a static cling decal, and it can go on the side glass as well. And you can leave it in place, and it'll filter a lot of that sunlight out of the inside of the car. On the back glass, there's screens such as this, that can also suction cup to the glass and be left in place, and it blocks a lot of the sun's rays. Now between all those different filters and sun blocks, you should be able to keep your car relatively cool before you get inside of it. When you get into a car with a leather interior that's been sitting in the sun, you can literally get burned by the hot seats and steering wheel. One way to reduce the heat is to drape a small white towel over the steering wheel and place a larger white towel over the seat. Not only will it protect you from getting burned, it will also keep you from sticking to the seat when you're wearing shorts. Once you get into your vehicle and get things going, one of the first things you want to do is get the windows cranked down as fast as possible. Then once you get out on the road, all of that superheated air inside of your vehicle is going to go outside and help cool the interior 30 degrees within seconds. Then you can go ahead and turn the air conditioning on and make sure you put it on recirculate. If you don't put it on recirculate, the air conditioning is not going to work as well because it's always going to be drawing in hot outside air, and that's definitely much harder to cool down. Once you've gone a couple blocks or so, put the windows back up, and you should be good to go. And when you start to think you just can't take the heat anymore, I want to remind you about something. Take a look at this yardstick. That's how deep the snow was last winter when you promised you wouldn't complain about the heat when summer finally comes. For Channel 6 News, I'm Jim Champion, the auto guy.